Welcome, beautiful, to the Creating Change podcast with Emma Bradford. Creating change to fall back in love with ourselves and life. Each episode, I'll be offering insightful stories, concepts, and practical takeaways to inspire your day, reconnecting to the authentic essence within. Are you ready, lovely, to embrace yourself even more and awaken to the magic life has to offer? Let's dive into today's episode. Hello and welcome to another episode of Creating Change with Emma Bradford. Thank you so much for being here and for being you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now the unconscious mind is something that is super important yet it's almost like this unknown. Like we know some things about the unconscious mind and we're still exploring. There's so much more to learn about the unconscious mind And in the general population, there's not really that much awareness in terms of how important the unconscious mind is. In NLP, we talk about this a lot. Also in hypnotherapy, we talk about this a lot. And the unconscious mind is one of the biggest components of ourselves. And it's so important to notice what's going on within the unconscious because that has a direct impact on how we live and experience life. So think of it like an iceberg. We have the tip of the iceberg above the water, and that's the conscious mind, what we're aware of consciously. And then below the water, there's a huge portion of that iceberg that's the unconscious mind. Some people say that the conscious mind is the goal setter, and the unconscious mind is the goal getter. So we can set goals consciously from the conscious mind and the unconscious mind is actually the part of ourselves that gets the goal, that has a direct influence on our behavior, on our thoughts, our beliefs and the actions that we take in life and what we accomplish. The unconscious mind is the domain of the emotions. It's where we have the blueprint for our body as well. We don't need to think about breathing and taking an inhale and exhale. We don't need to think about which organ then needs to digest what part of food. The unconscious mind deals with all of that. It does it for us. So then we don't have to think about that and we can carry it about our day as we digest, as we breathe, as we live as a human being on this planet. There are so many aspects to the unconscious mind. The unconscious mind is where we store the beliefs. We filter our reality according to what beliefs are held within the unconscious mind. So if we have any beliefs that are not so helpful, then our experience of life gets filtered according to that unhelpful belief. Now, our unconscious mind is almost like a a black box of an aeroplane. So each aeroplane has a black box, a recorder, that records the flight for safety. And our unconscious mind is almost like the recorder of our life experience. It's constantly listening, it's constantly paying attention and recording everything that's going on within our experience. It does this so then we can learn and we can grow and evolve and pay attention and keep ourselves safe in the future. So for example, if we have an experience where we burn ourselves because we put our hand in a flame, that is then taken on both consciously and unconsciously to then know for next time not to do the same thing again. Sometimes there can be unhelpful beliefs as well. Though the main purpose is to keep us safe, alive and well and able to continue our lives on this planet. Now because the unconscious mind is constantly listening, constantly paying attention, we pick up on so much information that gets stored into our unconscious mind without even realizing things that are just playing in the background or adverts that we see as we pass by. This constantly gets taken in and absorbed by our unconscious mind. So this is why it's so important to surround ourselves with positive messages. If we're constantly surrounded by messages that are 
giving a message of fear, be careful, look out, and we're surrounded by that, or messages of you're not worthy or you're not beautiful enough. So I'm thinking of magazines, like teenage magazines, like young girls looking through magazines and it's filled with lots of pictures of models. There can be this unconscious programming of I'm not beautiful enough, I'm not like them. I'm not going to be accepted. I'm not going to be loved. If there are constant messages of be careful, watch out, there can be this unconscious programming of fear. And fear can be a natural immune system suppressant, like it suppresses the immune system. So it's so important that we pay attention to what we're surrounding ourselves with. Now, there are two key times where the unconscious mind is extra sensitive to what's listening to it's paying attention even more and it's such an important time for reprogramming what we believe at an unconscious level and this is when we're waking up and when we're just about to fall asleep so those two times are some of the key times when we can use that for our advantage. So for example, we can listen to a hypnosis recording, we can listen to a guided visualization, we can listen to affirmations in those moments and create an even bigger impact. This is why I record myself saying affirmations and I set that as my alarm clock. So the first thing I hear when I wake up is the sound of my own voice saying positive affirmations. This is a really powerful way to use our unconscious mind to the full, to really make the most of it in that moment of waking up. And the sound of our own voice is one of the most powerful things. So we can listen to hypnosis recordings from other people or visualizations from other people. I'll link one of mine in the show notes. And the sound of our own voice is the ultimate. If we can record our own voice, ourselves talking through positive affirmations or reading a hypnosis script or doing something that can really feed in some positive thoughts and beliefs about ourselves, that is a really powerful way to start changing and shifting how our unconscious mind sees and believes things. So there are so many ways you can take this information and and put it into practical use. And also just be mindful and pay attention to what information are you surrounding yourselves with. Notice what you're listening to. Notice what you're reading. Notice what you're bringing into your awareness. We don't just consume through food and drink. We consume news, we consume adverts, we consume all these other things and that has a direct impact on our unconscious mind. So pay attention, notice what messaging you're putting into your awareness. Surround yourself with messages that things are possible, that you are capable, that life is beautiful. Surround yourself with that and notice what shifts as you do. I'll leave that there. Thank you so much for listening. And please do share this with loved ones. Share this message. It's super important. And thank you so much. I'll connect with you next time. Lots of love. Thank you so much for listening to this episode, Beautiful. You're amazing. All resources and links can be found on my website, www.emmabradford.net link is in the show description. Do come and join my community and share your takeaways from this episode. I'd really love to hear. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Until next time, I wonder, what magic will you experience in life today?